Mona Hisahama, a samurai, rice trader, and brilliant business innovator. He lived about 300 years ago in Sakata, Japan. He's the father of the clever candlestick charting system. And he also wrote the very first book ever on trading psychology. He titled it The Fountain of Gold, The Three Monkey Record of Money. Had the book been written today, it might be called The Bulls, The Bears, and The Undecided. How candlestick charts actually came about is a quite a remarkable story involving a remarkable samurai. Around 1710, a futures market emerged for rice. Previously, it had been traded exclusively just on the spot, cash for rice. The system used coupons promising delivery of rice at a future time, thus futures. In this secondary market of this coupon trading emerged this businessman, and stories claim that he established a personal network of men about every four miles, over 60 men to cover a distance of 375 miles between Sakata and Osaka in the Japanese rice market. Minahisa Hama did write that first book on market psychology. In this, he claims the psychological aspect of the market is critical to any trading success and that traders' emotions always have a significant influence on the trading prices, rice in this case. He notes recognizing this can enable you to take a position against the market. And he said, when all are bearish, there is cause for prices to rise, and vice versa. He describes the rotation of a yang, the bull market, and yen, the bear market, and claims that within each type of market, it's an instance of the other type. He appears to have used weather and market volume, too, in his pricing and in his trading psychology. Modern technical traders might describe this as resistance and support points with cyclical patterns in between. Remember, only one of the three is in control at a time. One of the three monkeys, the bulls, the bears, and the undecided, or whatever you'd like to call them. I want to take a moment to talk to you about how to read in the market and trade psychology uh, uh, with a candlestick. This is five-minute increments with the MACD moving average convergence divergence trade signal indicator. A lot of words, but as you'll see, it works very simply, and we don't know how to build an indicator in order to be able to use it. Thank goodness. Direct your attention to 930 when the market opens here, and we can see the volume bars. That's the vertical gray bars uh, on this diagram here. And you can see the market opens. The volume is pretty high, but it drops off for one, two, three, four, five consecutive five-minute periods. That volume drops off. Now this means the market is losing the momentum of its current direction, which at the time was down. And we're going to see how it turns around. You see the long shadows on the bottom of the candlesticks. That's the bears fighting for control under candlestick theory. They try to drive the market down and each time they don't succeed. And you see they're bulls are pushing up very hard from the bottom and then finally you have almost a, a doji pattern here uh, which signals a possible turnaround and sure enough we can see uh, that the market did turn up and the bulls gain control now down on the bottom half of the screen you see the macd indicator where the two lines come together this also denotes 
a loss of momentum in the market's direction. So you can see where it went from bearish to at least neutral and maybe bullish. And now through the, or thanks to the magic of video, I'm going to fast forward 15 minutes on this battle between the bulls and the bears. The bulls trying to take over from the bears. And you can see, of course, 15 minutes later, they did. The MACD crossed up uh, over the zero line and also uh, the green line over the red line. And the fact that the distance between those two lines is increasing uh, allows us to infer there's uh, uh, an increase of momentum that is directly ahead. And that's the story via candlesticks at this battle between the bulls and the bears, and the bulls won. By the way, uh, I'd like for you to consider subscribing to the channel, and you can be notified of any new videos we put up. And uh, a lot of the information in today's video is in my book, uh, and that's listed below too. But be sure and uh, subscribe at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for that. I put up this chart of the S&P 500 Micro E-Mini because I want to illustrate something to you. I remember years ago when I first started trying to learn uh, charting and technical indicators and trading indicators for signals like the MACD, one of the best, and candlestick charting, my favorite, because it brings a lot of information to your eyes very quickly and uh, visually your brain works much faster. But you can use whichever you like, of course. I want to take this chart and show you, and when I began, I started to say I expected that if I learn uh, the right amount of charting and use the right technical indicators that I would be able to become a trading wizard. Well, it doesn't work out that way. It takes experience to be able to use the volume, uh, the charting, the trade indicator, the time of day, and to be able to have practice at recognizing the patterns that might give you some idea about what is actually going on with the market. And sometimes, and the reason I put up this particular chart was, I want to show you how easy it is, and then I want to show you how hard it is, all in the same day, trading the same uh, financial product, and uh, almost at the same time. You can see when the chart starts off at 9.30 in the morning, uh, the market is uh, very bearish. You see all the uh, red candlesticks uh, going all the way down from 30.44 down to 30.22. That's a move of 22 points, uh, which would be about $110 in the micro e-mini at $5 a point. I want to warn you about something. When the market opens, there's a, a, a thing that uh, traders do, all types of traders, called fading the open. And that's because sometimes, uh, and I can't explain to you why it is, I'll let somebody else do that, but very often the market will trade one way and then in 10 or 15 minutes turns the other way all of a sudden for apparently no reason at all. And it does it so often that there's actually a strategy called trading the opening fade or trading the fade, however you'd like to term it. Now, in this particular instance, uh, I would have given the market at 930 five or 10 minutes to uh, verify that indeed it was going to be bearish and we could have uh, gotten a very definite trade sign. And you can see where the uh, green line dipped below the red line and stayed there for quite some time about uh, one hour after the market opened and that would have been an easy trade to capture and uh, later on in the day you see the MACD down here uh, doesn't it seems to go all over the place without any certain direction and it crosses several times and it just tells you that uh, there's not a lot of uh, um, decision in the market the bulls nor the bears have taken over and it's mostly an indecisive lot for the entire afternoon it's a long time to sit there two or three hours and uh, you have to experience uh, what i call the all dressed up and nowhere to go trade where you start to want to trade so badly you almost make one up but you can prepare all you want to and the market doesn't guarantee you're going to have an opportunity to trade uh, that morning or that afternoon or whatever time period you happen to be using. This is a good thing to remember. If you've uh, seen other videos here on the channel, you know I talk a lot about a reward risk ratio of two to one and about wishful thinking and not trying to, uh, to use the genius of hindsight to see what you could or should have done. That's Easter Bunny territory, uh, a trading system that gets you on mark every time 
is just non-existent. It's uh, Easter Bunny territory, so don't expect to find it. Try not to impose your will on the market, but let it tell you when it's an easy time to trade, like this chart that we're looking at now. You can see in the risky part of the afternoon here, that's the yellow shaded area, that's the undecided area. If you've been using, and we talk about reward risk ratios a lot in the videos here on the channel, if you've been using a two to one reward risk ratio and you're willing to risk, say, 50 bucks trying to make 100 bucks, if you look at the uh, yellow part in the afternoon trading here, it's going to be impossible. You can't do it. Uh, the market is only going from 30.22 up to about 30.32. That's a spread of 10 points in the yellow shaded area. And at $5 a point, that's $50. So you would have had room to lose $50, but not room to make $100. And these are things that with experience you learn to think about when you're doing your charting. One more thing before I leave this chart, you can see from about 11.30 up until uh, almost 2 o'clock, the MACD indicators, that is the red and green lines in the bottom pane, are well below the zero line. Rule of thumb, if you're trying to help identify which trades might be easy and which ones would add more risk, think about this. Anytime the MACD lines, both the green and red line, are down below the zero line, do not buy anything. Conversely, if both those lines are above the zero line, don't sell anything. Just a rule of thumb that helps you identify which trades are going to be less risky than others. And that's the brief story of candlesticks, which I love to use with the MACD indicator. You know, studying the candle patterns on the charts like reading each page of the book, but looking at the MACD is like getting the cliff notes. It gives you a, a big picture look. So candlesticks and MACD, the two go very well together. Thanks for being here today. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and check out the link to the book below. I'd appreciate that. This is Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. Thank you.